computers are the tool set. And so there's always been a set of tools that allow us to do things at design time. And then there's a runtime engine, which actually interprets all that design time uh, metadata, which is actually stored in the database as XML. So when we build a form in JD Edwards, it gets stored in a database as an XML representation of that form. And the runtime engine then knows how to pull that out and make it look good in the browser, which actually is one way they can support different browsers is by that runtime that runs on the application server, it's a Java based um, component at that level for the UI, uh, runs on IBM or um, Oracle WebLogic. So again, one tool set to build applications and all the application code in JD Edwards is actually available um, and can be um, looked at, reviewed, and it's all there in the database for everyone to see. And that's always let us have a great set of lifecycle management tools with inside of GD Edwards. So we can build something and, and work on it in our own little private space. We can check that into a server, have it built for testing by some other developers, and then we can promote that to a, what GD Edwards calls a PY prototype environment, which is really just a UAT type environment where it can be tested even more and exercise and sure things works signed off and then when it's ready, promote that on up to production and it's ready to go. And with Orchestrator and the latest um, Enterprise One pages and all the active content that's coming out, they're all categorized now in these user-defined objects. Again, we can follow the same type of lifecycle management where I personally can develop anything I want and I can see it. We can share that within an environment to other individuals or groups of individuals, let them take a look everything looks good, now we can promote that up to the PY environment, have people exercise it, test it, make sure it works. And then we can push that on up in from an approval standpoint, right under production, and everybody that needs access to it can have access to it. And that's really, I'm not just talking originally, that any user-defined object with inside of GD Edwards now follows this, this pseudo methodology.